Hey, we have here today another interesting integral from the UNSW, integration B2021, problem number five from round two. This is actually the last problem from round two. We have the integral from zero to pi over four, secant x over the square root of one plus sine two x dx. Okay, I thought this looked pretty challenging because one thing we know when we're integrating, we usually want sine and cosine in integral, or we want tan and secant. Sine and secant don't do well together. And what I'm thinking is how can we transform this in order to get either a U substitution or some nice cancellation? The thing that came to mind pretty quick was if we could multiply this by a secant, we have a secant squared in the numerator. And then I would like this to somehow get a tangent because if we had a tangent, then we could do a U substitution. The derivative of tan is secant squared. Let's just give this thing a shot and see what happens. So I'm gonna multiply our numerator and denominator by secant x over secant x. So we'll get that. So then we'll have our secant squared x in the numerator. Now for the denominator, this is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna to try to save myself a step here. For the sine two x, I'm gonna use the identity that sine the double angle formula for sine, which tells us this can be written as sine x cos x. I'm just gonna make my square root longer. And when I multiply the secant x into the denominator, I'm gonna bring it inside the square root, so I need to write this as secant x squared. Okay, so let's distribute this inside the parentheses. So for our first term, we're gonna have our just secant squared x times one is gonna be a secant squared x plus two. So instead of writing this as secant squared x, I'm gonna write this as one over cosine squared x. So we'll have our sine x, cosine x, and then we're multiplying in a cosine squared x, which is the same as our secant squared. We're gonna get a cancellation of one cosine here, but then this sine x cos x, this is actually just tan x. And then I'm gonna rewrite this to clean up this mess, but what I'm gonna do before I do that, what I mentioned before is I want the u substitution. I like this, right, because I'm gonna make a u. We want our u to be tan x. The derivative will be secant squared x, but what about this? Well, what I can do for the secant squared x is just use this identity for tan squared so that we get everything in terms of tangent. So we'll rewrite this when I re do my rewrite. I'll write this as tan squared x plus one. So now I'll do this cleanup and just write everything in terms of tangent. And then from here, we can notice this is actually factorable. We can actually write this as just tan x plus one all squared. Then from here, the square and the square root are essentially gonna cancel but we need for now to preserve an absolute value sign around our tan x plus one, so that that's never negative. So this absolute value, it could bother us, but we notice that our bounds are all in quadrant one. And in quadrant one, tan is always positive because, or positive or zero, because, so, because sine is positive or zero and cosine is positive or zero. So because this is always gonna be positive, we can just remove our absolute value signs there. So for this substitution, our u is going to be tan x plus 1, and then our du is going to be just secant squared x dx. So then we have our du in the numerator, u in the denominator, so we're in pretty good shape, but let's, do, let's update our bounds first. So rewriting, making our substitution, tan at pi over 4 is going to be 1, 1 plus 1, so we're going to have 2, and then... Uh, tan at zero is gonna be zero plus one. So we're just evaluating this from one to two. Like I said earlier, we're gonna have du in the numerator over u. This is just gonna be natural log of u. We'll evaluate this from one to two. So we're gonna have natural log, I'm not gonna write absolute value, but this absolute value of two is two minus natural log of one. This is just zero and we're left with the solution of just natural log of two. That's it, UNSW 2021, problem 2-5. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.